immature leftist reprobates. Um, I'm going to explain this thing, um, not just attacking people and things. I mean, people can have their freedom and their beliefs and whatever else, but I'm going to say that these people that are on the left and the, the crazies and things like this, um, although they're entitled to their own beliefs, uh, they're, they're the really narrow-minded, dangerous bigots out there. I'm not going to call them liberals. The reason why is James chapter 1, verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and it braideth not, and it shall be given him. Liberal is a good word in your Bible, just like gay is a good word in the, in the King James Bible. All right? These reprobates, go to that passage in Romans chapter 1, reprobates have twisted the words of God and changed the truth of God into a lie. I'll show you that. <clears throat> Romans chapter 1 verse 25 who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen verse 26 for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman Burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So there you see reprobate. God turns these people over to a reprobate mind. They change his words. They say, we're liberals. No, you're reprobates. You're leftist reprobates leftists being sort of communistic socialistic types of people that reprobate in their mind they all hate god i've never seen one of these leftist reprobates that you know respected god or loved god they all are god hating atheists and luciferians verse 29 being filled with all unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder debate deceit malignity whispers backbiters haters of god despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. We'll talk about that in a minute. Disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Yeah, all this rioting and all this other stuff like that, that these reprobates are doing, um, they're going to have to answer to God for that someday. But you see, what they want, there is no common ground with these people, okay? You have to stand and you have to fight against this stuff. It's very important. I had a brother send me this thing recently. There's this uh, Far Cry 5 or something video game coming out. And it's it's depicting, you know, these preachers with, you know, and country people. They're terrorists and you got to go out and kill them. Here's a picture of it. You know, you can see the, the guy there. Now, you know... I mean, I, I don't know who they're trying to depict there with the, the preacher with his Bible open. I mean, I don't wear a suit and tie, and I don't have yellow shooting glasses on. But, you know, I mean, it's just it, it's incredible to me that these people can be taken serious. I mean, it's just it's funny. They have to attack Christians through video games and cartoons like The Simpsons or Family Guy or things like this. I mean, what are we dealing with here? Reprobates. They're children, little children. I'm gonna make you look bad with a with a video game and a cartoon, and I made. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, you know. Really good there, but you know, it, uh, just another brother sent me this thing this morning. I'll put the screenshot up here. You can read it. I'm not gonna bother reading it, but it just you know this thing of this new YouTube policy that they're coming out with, uh, where they're, by they're gonna go after you know extremists and people that are offensive well i'm offended by the reprobate leftists why don't you shut them down oh we can't do that see understand what this whole thing is about this is not some kind of a political divide where we can kind of you know whatever this is war this is literally the early stages of a physical war where you have the people taking sides and the leftist reprobates are going to want they literally want to slaughter you and take away your property that's the whole issue. That's why they go out and they riot and they loot and whatever else. You know, it's just disgusting. And as Christians, you're faced with a decision, okay? 
Um, the Bible does not say that you have to take up arms and fight in a situation like this. Right, you are to provide for your own, protect your own, whatever else. But there have been Christians that have decided to die as pacifist type, you know, just martyrs. They'll, they'll let themselves be martyred, you know, and whatever. Okay. Um, I'm not going to condemn some of the people that died in the past. Like you get a William Tyndale or something like that who laid down, you know, he did not fight and he just said, okay, you're going to kill me, you're going to kill me. I'm trying to translate the Word of God for the English-speaking people. He gets caught. They executed him. All right, after being in a dungeon, I think it was a year or right around that area, you know. Um, he didn't fight. But then you had men like Oliver Cromwell who did fight against Roman Catholics. You say, which one was right, which one was wrong? Well, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, okay? Um, you're going to have to make that decision. Uh, as for me and my house, we will fight. Uh, I'm not going to let a bunch of reprobates come and just, you know, kill us and, and do horrible things. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm not aggressive. I'm a, a man of peace. I want peace. That's the whole thing. But these reprobates, these leftist reprobates, are, are just getting so bold now. And, you know, they're, they're in control of the media whole thing. So they're going to try to shut people like us down because they're intolerant. Um, they are, they're the narrow-minded bigots. Uh, it's, it's sad, really. They cannot handle intellectual debate. Um, I'm not going to shut down any of their stuff. Uh, they want to do whatever little things that they want to do and whatever else. And go ahead. Fine. Whatever. But, um, and you know, another thing I want to just say here real quickly. It's just my little rant going here. But uh, why, does Donald Trump stop, Trump, why doesn't Donald Trump stop some of these people? So here recently Johnny Depp came out, this Hollywood you know, movie actor. And he came out and he said that, you know, he had a fantasy about uh, assassinating, you know, the president. And he's like, last time that happened was, you know, John Wilkes Booth with Abraham Lincoln. You know, I wonder if that could happen again, you know, and stuff. Why doesn't somebody stop him? You know, all this rioting and looting and stuff like this, why doesn't Trump stop him? There was some, uh, I remember seeing something the one time, some UFC or something fighter, and he was like at one of these, uh, the Berkeley riots out in California here. And he said there's like fighting and stuff. And he walks up to the police officer and he's like, why aren't you stopping him? And they're like, well, um, yeah, well, we know who you are. Oh, man, you know, it's kind of cool to see you here. And he was like, okay, you're not going to stop him. I'm going to stop him. And he went out and he was beating up some of these reprobates. You know, why are the police standing down? Why aren't people being arrested? Why are Hollywood actors being allowed to come out and say that they're going to kill the president and you get this other woman comic and she's, you know, holding a severed head of the president and stuff? Why? Well, probably because the president is Jesuit trained and this is called divide and conquer. Divide the American people and get them to fight with each other. And I mean, I grant you, you know, if, if someone, a bunch of reprobates come and they're trying to burn your place down or whatever else and you have to go out and fight, there's not much you can do about it. You know, you aren't going to stand in there and go, this is divide and conquer strategy. I'm not going to take part in it. Well, you know, you got to do something. You know, don't go out and wage war as a Christian, but defend yourself. That's the point here. But this strategy of dividing and conquering a nation is what's happening here in America. That's, again, why they're bringing Muslims in. They bring Muslims into an area with conservative Christian type of people, and the Muslims are going, we want to have our loudspeaker, that, you know, that idiotic you know, bleh, you know, call to prayer thing, whatever. You know. And they want to do that, and, and we want to be able to impose Sharia law here in the town, and people are going, what are you talking about? And... You get a bunch of stupid atheists and they come along and they say, the cross offends me that you have in that park over there. So down in Pensacola, they actually had a cross in some town park and they're, the atheists are forcing them to take it down and stuff like this. Been there for like 75 years or something. See, what's going on is this whole system is purposefully being allowed to continue, you know, to divide the American people. So that when the war finally does happen and things start to fight and it's really bad, then they can impose martial law, come in, hey, we got to do something. we got to restore law and order and then go from there. Very interesting times that we live in as Christians, you know, aren't they? And, you know, I mean, what can you do? 
So I just wanted to make a video. I've, you know, I, I get things people send me, and then it's like, hey, you ought to do a video on this, and I'm like, yeah, I really should, and but I'm like, how am I going to fit this in and stuff? So sometimes I'm just going to be coming out with these things so I can just, you know, bring out some of the stuff I get sent. Uh, kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, the whole thing is just, again, be encouraged, brethren, because, uh, you know, the Lord's in control of everything. You know, He's not going to allow anything to happen to you uh, that's not His will. You're in His hand, so don't worry about it. Okay, if you're lost, you better get, you know, saved. You better consider getting saved because the future is going to be war, a lot of war, <laughs> and the only way out of it is faith in Jesus Christ. All right, so that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.